orders are as follows. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Where before we head on, I uh, want to point out that the corpses are not exactly in the same position like it was uh, in the previous episode. Because I managed to find out what happened with my weapons. One of they got kicked out of my hands, and only the Warfang was in Lazel inventory and the Susur dagger. Not sure how. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, Swift roughly find a position. He was. I could have seen it over here around in this area with high out with different camera angle, and apparently got sent stuck somewhere in the wall up here, and I couldn't reach it. I tried with mage hand, whatnot, all that, but I couldn't reach it, which meant I was down to the work fang, the other dagger, and that was it. So. I decided to redo the fight, and that's why all these guys are a bit more in a different position. And the second time I did the fight, daggers were not kicked out of my hands or whatnot, so I got to keep them. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest, I looted, thought we'd uh, play Zell, all good. Moving and we only have, what was it, Lathander's blood? Like, towards this way. I'm assuming if I go out the main way, we're gonna have a fight. So hopefully this might offer me another passage out. We'll have to see. Remarkable that this stayed hidden all this time. Yeah. So what's this and then Oh. And the only thing in this room it seems to be this crystal energy source. I'm gonna destroy it, takes out this one, and oh, hold up, hold up. Okay. Uh you mentioned traps. I'm not gonna ungroup because if something happens, at least one character is gonna happen. That's a trap actually. Uh, what do I mean enter turn base mode? Okay, that's off. Now, where are. Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Now. Okay, so I have that one. Can I jump? No, I cannot. Not even I can jump on the other side. Don't be shy. Sure, maybe Kala can do marching. A big vault all over. The path is interrupted. Mm. Is that blood? No. Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. On oh, the way. There's a path here. Ah, and there's the other energy source. So this is the for the second door, and that means the other one is. For the third door, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I missed. That's off. Oh, okay, if you're going that way, cool. Uh, ungroup. Uh, Lazel, you went really, really close. I'm gonna move for Looking ahead. Let's disarm this one. Okay, perfect. Want to activate it? Okay, and then that means. Point. Yeah, from this side I can keep it there. Nice. Other traps? No. Oh. You guys are the secrets, the traps, or not? As I barely live and hardly breathe. <laughs> okay. That's the amulet. 
Uh, so what's this exactly? It's a maze. Okay, once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you gain uh, allies within also regain the thunder slides sheds holy light in a six meter radius. In combat, pins are undead and undead standing in the light are blinded. And actually, evocation spell sunbeam. Six to forty-eight damage. A beam of Ooh. On save, targets still take half damage. And is this? This is legendary. Did I just find the uh, maze for Shadowheart then? Was. Uh, wait, wasn't that a certain ring that I got? I may not remember correctly. Don't burn yourself. No, I don't know why. So that's progress. Either a ring or an amulet. Despite I thought I had something regarding radiance. Okay, let's pick it up then. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. Okay, reach into the light. You feel your patron's presence nearby. It hums with an unfamiliar anxiety. Snatching a holy weapon from a godly dungeon would be mischievous indeed, but the consequences disastrous. Uh what's the worst that could happen? Just take the maze. The laser disapproves, Shadow Heart disapproves. Ooh. See a force field. Uh, oh wait, isn't that the thing outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those next, next to the nest. Uh, wait. Everything is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. What do you mean? Uh... Uh, escape or disarm fortress remaining. Hold up. What do you mean to tell me I have fortress to destroy these ones? Radiant, piercing. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, wow. Oh, last panel. What's this? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what was the name? Crest panel? Yeah. Oh, is it this one? There's an interesting conversation near... Why? What? Okay... Okay, so I can't insert any more items. Ah! Well, isn't that a portal? I guess, yeah, this was an exit. Ah, oh, hello. I don't think I needed to destroy the traps. It was just this one, energy source. 
right? I'm assuming this would have been for the force field. No, I don't know. Right. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be Let's for Shadow Heart. Although I can wear mace as well. Whatever comes. Well, hold up. If I do wear mace. It isn't this one hand. Oh, really? Ah. Uh, should I stay with the mace, actually? Because the thing is, Shadow Heart, I might swap around. For now, Shadow Heart can uh, have it. 614. It is 414, so it does a lot more damage. Yeah. And these things have stayed interesting. And then we we'll see. Okay, we then. Then that means. We endangered the crash and its people. And to what end? Lazel. We managed to stop it. Such insouciance. You cannot comprehend the destruction we nearly triggered. Well, uh, true, but Blazel, come on. Your queen gave order for you to be killed. Why are you still so stubborn? I mean, it wouldn't be Blazel if she wasn't stubborn. Right. Well. I'm expecting a gauntlet of enemies. I mean, maybe I could have potentially fast traveled out, but then maybe I would have missed something regarding story. Yep. Hello. Hi. There we go. So Kalak is first. Incoming. And they're already just Good idea, Kala. effectively hostile. Just throw the barrel. There we go. And boom, <laughs> and then uh, wait here. Ah, weapon drop. Okay, freak. So I'm not gonna do words. Ah, leaping words. So, Kala can uh, Lazel drop their weapon. Gotcha. Okay, let's take one of the wolves down. Is the step? Ow. No, no, what? Freak. Then bleed them dry. She disarmed. I'm ready. Okay, who would be next? We have that guy. Does this have a. Ah, it's in a line. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. And then... Come on, you missed that! 
crying aloud. Ah! Freak. Okay, I should have. Yeah. Miss. Uh, I'm getting pummeled, unfortunately. Uh, get that potion. Okay, I'll do a hypnotic battle. So they're hypnotized. Ah, did I lose? Ah, I think I lost concentration. God damn it. Uh, I don't have enough movement speed. I still have actually the range. Which is interesting. Uh, wait, this is, uh, it's actually, this uses an action as well, and that's healing, okay, let me do, come on, can you stop missing, crying aloud. On the move. That's actually was the Zells. Can't afford to let up. Uh Not okay, old person, nice. And I need to summon <laughs> that one. Okay, pick up your weapon. And it actually uses all. Do I have? I can use as a bonus. Ah, oh, sure. I thought maybe, maybe we would get that. Of course. Cry aloud. Uh, sure. Get rid of that wall. Now. I need to arm her, unfortunately. I still have a bonus action, okay. Oh, that's an action. That's an action as well. Can I can throw anything? Wonderful. And I've got resources. Uh, I guess I'll try a bomb off. Hey, jungle miss, of course. I'm gonna try uh Oh, double hole person. Yes, please. Of course you miss. Eat it. No, not the one. Eat the weapon for fuck's sake. Of course I'm eating my own weapon. God damn it. That 
could, that would have been her dying right there. There we go. Nice. Victory awaits. Then I will not know failure. <laughs> Ouch. That was damage right there. Uh, fine with it. Say bye bye. Okay, still old person. Uh, advantage. Nice. Like Good night. Done. You don't have anything. You should have Dollbreaker Great Sword. Hello. When wielded by a Githyanki, this weapon deals an additional one plus four, one to four psychic damage. Game to bonus to initiative rolls. Oh yeah, this is Lazel's weapon for sure. So, Jorgoro's great sword. Nice to meet you, but <laughs> but this one is much more better. On, now should go. I give Assume nothing. the sword then to Harlak? That's eight twenty one compared to seven nineteen. Yeah, I'm gonna have Harlak hold it. Mainly because the lash mm, was so and so. Let's move. Unfortunately, kind of failed me. Okay, encumbered. You're starting to have too many items. Our lack. You'll be secondary help over here. Githyanki crossbow Irrelevant All right. Okay, so that was that round I'll be really surprised if These, these other guys are gonna be chill with it So okay, that means more or less, we're kind of done here, in my opinion. So we can continue on our on our way. Give me. Yeah, sure. Get these ones. Wait, did everybody leave? Actually, it's been a long day. I'll need to rest soon. No, they're their enemies over there. Ready to parry, of course. Some archers. Ow. Nice. Okay. I'm not gonna. Oh, gaping ones. Uh, that's not exactly great. Oh, seriously, I can. Time to strike. Okay, I can move with uh, Lazel. That's all that matters. Right? Ah. Hmm. You bow. 
Or you break. Nice. That's a pushing attack. I kind of want. attack of course you miss why wouldn't you miss and sure I need to have my guys up in front Doing concentration. Uh, uh, <laughs> damn you. Nice. Ah, to save the concentration. Not great. A callback. No surrender. Oh, but this could be a <laughs> nice one. Can you stop You're concentrating? Crying aloud. There we go. You saved every, almost every attack. Okay. Unfortunately, the warrior, I'm not going to be able to take him out. I am fury. I am death. Uh, you bow, that's not enough move you break. So this maybe I can take... Can I reach him now? Yes, I can. I think I'm safe to try to take two out. He has enough uh, health to tank everything. So. Okay. Just do a normal. Took the ready to parry off, so that's great. Of course, miss because we're not. I won't give in. What do I have to lose? I don't think I'm gonna have to take him. Yep, uh, I'm gonna miss anyway. And there we go. Hey, good looking. Apparently, another key. You okay, know, Kalak is encumbered. Ooh, amulet of branding, Arithian's wrath. Phew. You can hold on to that, hold on to that, and the rest is gonna get sold. Oh, crossbow of arcane force. No, unfortunately. Oh, actually. I can use it as Karlak. Interesting. I'm just curious to see. If you use your crossbow bolts with arcane energy in your range attack, additional damage. It's a bonus action. But this one deals additional damage equal to my strength modifier. So I think this one does a bit more damage than uh, this one here. That's what I think. Or it feels like. Right. Uh... I 
she's still hmm. encumbered, unfortunately. Hey, ho. What's next? Maybe Blazel can hold on to this too. It's uh, gonna be quite a bit, unfortunately. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. There's no time to waste. Okay, Shadow Heart. Arrows. Another chest. And that was a potion over there. Can hold on to these ones. No time for Danny. Don't have a lot of room left. Mm. There's still plenty of uh, rooms. I need. I can check more potions. Might as well. I'm trying to think. So I should have in the underdark that vendor and maybe maybe other uh, grove as well there's a lot of stuff over here ones and these ones here so I don't mess up what I want to sell or not and she's kind of getting close to <sighs> right I can actually use the Secret entrance. Uh, because now that I think about it, I still have the class classroom to deal with, hatchery, infirmary, infirmary. Do I want to deal with them? Is there any? Any benefit except? Hey. Uh, what is it uh, like? Experience. Okay, maybe let's deal with just these guys and then I'll probably take the the other entrance. Ooh, nice crit. Uh, you should have actually vision to Shadow Heart maybe? Of course, why would I uh, save on some of them, huh? We don't do that here. Nice. Get a potion at least, and... Out, perfect. Where are you gonna go? Okay, sure. It's weird positioning for them. I mean, you jumped. Somewhere or not. Heading there. I can do this. Some 
collateral damage and then yeah, I can't find it unfortunately. Kalak. Huh. Hold up. Can you throw one way over here? Yeah, kinda yes and no. Not sure. Let's throw one to have extra damage and uh, you know what? Everybody up here. Yeah, unfortunately. Nice. Miss. Nice. Miss. Okay, and then uh... sure, I just wanna cast the fog over there and then come up here. Uh, that was a bit of a misclick over there. I am fury. I am death. Wind and you know what? I can't reach destination. Okay, just stay up here. Hey, nice. Save over there. Uh. Ow. Uh. Where are you going? Uh, I don't think I want to know. Boscure. Sure, heal everybody and uh. Of course you miss. Cry not loud. Okay, hide behind here. Uh, at least Kalak is not missing. If you can take him out. Perfect. Nothing will stand in my way. On my way. Uh, Everybody can stay here. They need to come to me. Oh, you have enough to jump as well. Damn, okay. You don't have ranged weapons. Where are you going? Well, we don't have spells, so I guess. Are you gonna come back? Or yes you are. So you got a bit confused as well. Uh I need to deal with this guy over here. That one. Perfect. Another fight. Let's go. Ooh. A critical hit. I will ascend. Nice critical hit. He's out. And unfortunately... Nice, okay. She burned. Perfect. Perfect. Focus, strike you. Uh, 
not bad. Okay, everybody on that one. Oh, he is dead. Four. Turn and turn. I need to wait for this guy to come up to me. And that's the fight. Hello. Oh, really? You had enough to hit as well? Not bad. There goes the parry. Perfect. Uh, synergy cantrips. When you deal damage with the cantrip, you gain a, uh, synergy. Uh, this is all food. I'm not gonna take. Or something. Another key here that I missed somehow. And unfortunately, yeah. Move one speed. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Well, well, well. Uh, no oh, damage. Shut. Wait, am I using cantrips with... Uh, no. Eager for battle. What about... What's next, I wonder? So unfortunately, My this ring... Back. I mean, sure, you know what? I'm gonna give this one... So maybe I'll start using cantrips and I'll oh, give... For a good meal. This one with more movement speed instead of the throw madness. damage, and she's already kind of encumbered. How much can I carry? Not much either. Here we go. Time I mean, I'm fine with it. So that's like half of the crash. I should be able to fast travel from here. I'll, feel that I'll go the... Use... What key? Ah, okay. For the gates. That's why. And then I have these ones here. Just empty. So if I can fast travel, yeah. All right, because I have a vendor here, and then probably I'll fast travel to the Underdark. We'll see, or I'll do that off screen. She should have enough cash, actually, to get most of my stuff. Thank you so much. I should hope so. When One adventure calls, uh, yeah, you should have enough. Thoroughly prepared. Take That's a look. Off. Out, out. Uh, this is barter. I don't need to barter. Unless... Uh, I do have some potions of, of healings, though. So, sure. I'm actually giving more. But I'm fine. Uh, anything else here? No. Can't afford to stay idle. Short bow. Oh, that's the spell thief. And these are all except the fire stoker. Okay, so apparently she doesn't have enough cash. Now. But it's enough to clear most of the inventory. Yeah. Indolence breeds madness. And these 
things. So that means I need to go to the Underdark. Let's cook in. To sell more stuff over the there. Ones. Not as bad as it could have. So I think this should be it then with this area. So we can continue infiltrating the Moonrise Towers and properly go towards Act 2 or start the art. The Act 2. Because I don't have anything else here. But I'm gonna go. Yeah, enter a different region. Let's go to the other vendor. Why am I in campsite? How much farther can I go? Okay, I cannot leave again. Walking freely out of a Githyanki crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me. I've seen quite a few. I mean, I was kind of thinking of doing another long rest after all of, all of this. I don't need to, there is work to do. refresh Shadow Hearts spells. My first tour of a Githyanki crash. Memorable, to be certain. But the service left something to be desired. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of agree. The... What path lies they were me? they wanted the artifact and then tried to betray me. The sooner we get out of this Gith Warren, the better. Easy there. Careful. Don't let the uh, Lizelle hear you. Like Kalak. Looks like we're done here. Pity. This place has been a wild ride. I wonder if this is regarding the crash or like a low key telling the player like you've done everything that's possible in the starting area. Just we can advance. I suppose not many can boast that they've been to a Gith Yankee crash and survived. Perhaps that's a good omen for our chances going forward, if you're feeling optimistic. Okay, nothing over there. I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Uh, we might have some issues. Okay, ask Lysel about the disc from the crash. Which one? Your mind connects with Lysel's, and together you envision the Githyanki disc. Another part of the Orpheus tale. This one has been translated to common. Hey, I'd like to hear you or you tell the story. Fine. The Prince of the Comet, part two. The Prince of the Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Vlacketh. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Vos, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. True heir, glorious prince, Chuck. There's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. You sure about that? Huh. Okay, don't really like it. What's going on with Lazel? Alrighty then. Let's go to bed. Let's see if something else happens. Oh. What the? Oh. Right. Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlacket sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Oh. Don't trust him. Skakakir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. 
Mother Gith compels you to listen. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna give this to Lazel. She should take the lead. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the Prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Damn. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. Lazel? I will hear no more of it. No, I mean, come on, Lazel. You almost died from his AIDS. And then you see, you saw that Blackheat, whatever, gave the order for that Inquisitor to kill you. Not just me, you included. You need to trust him. Okay, everybody approves. I served Vlacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I shall uh, go. Vlacketh's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Still feels fishy on his side as well. So I wonder if this is another trick. Get a prism. Is this something I need to have on me all the time, then? 
Looks like Lazel has something to say. Is it just Lazel or... Wait, where is everybody? <laughs> I see Kolak here, but where is Will, Asterian? So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh... I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. Okay, just a uh, commentary on it. But yeah, where are the rest? Am I technically not fully, fully in the camp? Oh. I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. I mean... She saw what happened, so... Wasn't that surprising to me. Uh, oh, I'm curious, I want to talk all about all that's happened Fine. to us. What's on your mind? Okay, I don't have any other extra options. Right, Lazel. You are ready for battle. Vlakith cost Sivim Hrath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith, and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Hmm. What does Ascension entail, exactly? Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Hmm. Boss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I mean, kind of makes sense. Because she talked only about uh, getting ascended, but not one time. I, yeah, I'm trying to recall if she mentioned that she met or saw or something one of the ascended so again this is something you can say yeah you can become the best and then nobody hears from you anymore and if somebody asks you'll be like yeah yeah he became great really but has other stuff but you're you're dead for like in the past 10 years so yeah now who is the one in the prism prism do you think i don't know i can't know and that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. 
And if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Black Kids are real. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Okay, let's move on. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakit's eyes are upon us. Okay, so we have new quest, help Kithrak Voss. And then get Yankee Warrior. Again, I don't know where the rest are. I guess we go to bed again. <laughs> and we are snoring. Okay, all those conditions were lost. Now I can uh, ask Asterion and the rest. So? Lazel's going to war with Vlakith. Going to break her chains in Baldur's Gate. Good for her. Ooh. Astanian looks so good. With that armor. Ah, Gale is good. Or will Voss have well. to show for himself when we catch up with him, I wonder? His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We should ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. Indeed. Hey. We all? There's a schism growing among the Githyanki people. And Lazel just took one step towards choosing a side. Okay, that was a uh, short. And that should be. There it is. Okay, so I'm the uh, Michael the Colony. All good. I can start selling stuff over here and maybe actually check uh, if I can sell it in the trees, grove, and whatnot. I should still have the gnome, I believe it was. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. And yeah. Next up, the Shadow Course lands or whatever they're called. Because I think I don't have anything left around here. I might see if I uh, just change some of the people out here. Maybe leave Lazel for the moment. Company. Get Will. Or, I don't know. I I'll see. But for now, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care.